give them nothing, but take from them everything. And welcome back to the Metal Hand of God podcast, the most dangerous podcast on the internet. I am your host, Wayne, and you know this gentleman as... Gary. You're not... No, you're not Gary. But the gentleman sitting next to me is... Returning once again is... The real Adam. Uber Gary. That's right. Harry Gary. I got one thing I need to say to Adam. One thing to say to Adam, okay. Your fantasy about me and Martin having sex for the 500 show is not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. We already promised the people, so it's going to happen. It's going to happen, Gary. Well, the only way I told Wayne that was going to happen is <laughs> you need to fuck me up with something rum has. <laughs> yeah. And that might work. You need to knock my ass out. I'm not fucking you up. like. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know how rum has his um, lethal concoction of date rape drugs that he's making? I, well, you know what? Like, let's let's not pretend like this is what he needs any coaxing because he's already made a plan for how it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, he has, he has. He's he's preparing himself to get the Engly sausage. Or the other way, I don't really care which one. Y'all you <laughs> can sixty nine or something. I don't give a shit. Like, just... That's not gonna happen either. That would be interesting. I don't, I don't know if I'd watch it, but it'd be really. I was say you really watch it. I'm not gonna watch it. I was just gonna leave the microphone on and just broadcast to the people because they wanna, they wanna know what happened. Yeah, they want to. They don't. Oh, they wait, wait, hear. Just, if you get the audience members to sign off on it, I think about it. Gary, do you really want to go down this this? Wow, <laughs> Gary, Gary's like walking that fucking thin line, man. Do you really think for a second that people won't write and say yes? I absolutely want Gary and Mark to fuck. I don't know your audience that well. Guess. <laughs> guess what, audience? <clears throat> if you write in, and let's start this petition right now. Uh, we need to start a petition where if you want to, I guess it would be here because not many people would be able to see this. Uh, if you want to hear Mart and <laughs> Uber Gary make sweet, sweet love on the air. Please write in and tell us. We'll start the petition today. That way, by the time the 500th episode comes, there'll be like 8 billion signatures. Well, guess what? I guess I might need to hide out up north somewhere and not drive back. <laughs> I feel bad for Mark because like, you're just backing him into this corner. Yeah, Mark, Mark has no idea. Like He really doesn't. 200 episodes or 100 episodes. You know what's going to be funny? is like, like, Mark, hey, man, you, you know what? Why don't you, we're gonna fly you in for the 500 episode. Be nice, be really sweet, you know. And uh, when he shows up, and Gary's sitting there with his fucking like um, thong on and like nipple clamps, and say you're ready, bitch, you know. <laughs> and the other thing is like Gary, you don't even know when this is gonna happen because according to Wayne, it could happen in 50 episodes. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I completely fucked that up. That was really funny. Because uh, really, after, at the end of the episode, like when me and Rum finished, um, I was like, Rum. He goes, what? I said, this is not the fucking 400th episode. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, 450. And uh, he goes, oh, damn. I said, yeah. I said, Don't worry. I'll make a, uh, um, a little disclaimer at the beginning that we fucked up. You should have just went in and like edited your voice over every time you said 450, you just said 350. No, I thought it was funnier. Oh, you said 450 multiple times? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I like, like the whole, almost the whole episode. <laughs> but, you know, whatever, man. It happens. I fucked up, you know. Big deal. Sorry, guys. You know, you guys got all excited and shit because I was saying it was the 450 episode when it really wasn't. I'm just saying it would have been funny uh, if, if you had. Uh, like done like one of those old 1980s like movie dubs you know like my favorite <laughs> one are you familiar are y'all familiar with uh 
most famous one from Die Hard 2 when they overdubbed that. Yes, I know you're talking about. I don't. Fill me oh. in, please. So, like, so you understand that in the 1980s they would place R-rated movies on like you know WGNO and shit, right? Yeah, of course. But they couldn't because there would be cur. I mean, they cut out the nudity, but any cursing they'd have to dub over. But they didn't do this like in studio when, like, say for Die Hard too. Like when Bruce Willis was there, they're like, "All right, well, you know, hey, Bruce, we're gonna we have to do some ADR here because." You know, uh, we're going to put this on regular channels eventually, too. We're going to sell to those markets. They didn't do that. They just sold the movie and just let the the TV studios handle it. So they would get these terrible, terrible, <laughs> like, fake voice actors to dub over the, the regular actors. And, like, m- most of the time, like, uh, they, they'd get it as close as they could. But you could tell, like, number one, that it was dubbed in. Number two, that it wasn't, like, in this case, Bruce Willis. Right. But so the the famous phrase from Bruce Willis and Die Hard is yippee ki a motherfucker. Right. So in order to make that work, it also had to like sort of sync up with the lips as much as possible. So they had to come up with the, the, whenever they do this, they have to come up with some some alternate phrase that's supposed to be similar. So at the end of the movie, when Bruce Willis is lying on the ground in Die Hard 2 and uh He's got like the plane about to take off. And he's got a trail of jet fuel leading to it. He lights his uh his cigarette lighter, throws it on the ground, and says, "Yippee ki yay, Mr. Falcon." <laughs> no fucking way, dude! Yes, I heard about that. You can actually Google it. They, so people have it on YouTube, but uh, it's it's probably the most famous overdubbing, just because it's it's pretty hilarious. But there's there's a lot of like because. They they usually I don't know why they don't just like forget about the lip syncing and just come up with something that at least makes sense. Right. Usually they just choose the lip syncing instead and come up with something that makes no sense. You know, so it's it's usually pretty hilarious. Kind of like those bad lip reading videos they have now. Yeah, especially like for the NFL. Yeah. Uh, I've heard of those. I don't think I've seen it. They're very funny. They're yeah, very they funny. Are. Most of them are for like football, though. I mean, you don't really have uh, too many for like, um, uh, like movies and stuff. But they do do bad. Uh, they did do bad lip reading videos for like the the presidents' stuff and shit. You know? Yeah, for the um, when he did his speeches his and all that stuff. Speech. Yeah, it was funny. I think they also do it for like Univision and shit like that, just to fuck with people. That be that's pretty fucking great. I have to check that one out. <laughs> Uh, I got a, I got a little thing here, man. Um, you do? Yeah, I do. I do. I can't help it. I was born with it. Um, Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> no, <but. laughs> um, do you yeah. have the right cock, though? I, yeah, I do. I do. I have the perfect cock. I mean, you don't need to go. Like, you I don't need, need to go ask my dad if I have the right <laughs> cock, though. I'll, I'll go low <laughs> as he had the right cock. <laughs> How does Gary know that? What do you mean? Know that story? That you have the right cock. Oh, uh, I don't know, because I mean, he. I never asked him. I guess. I I don't I don't know. I'm sorry. What Shut up, want- Gary. You see, you see what you're getting into. What do you want to be over here right now? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, a while back, uh, we talked about the porn star Christy Mac. Uh, you love her. Wait, what? You love her. I don't love her. Uh, you were obsessed with that girl. Oh yeah, for a long time. Yeah, she was hot. I couldn't help it. Were well, you obsessed with her like Adam's obsessed with uh, Babylon Five? No, no, no. And I wasn't obsessed with her as much as Adam loves The Rock either. That is true. You know, but I think you'd go further with Christy Mack than I went with The Rock. I, of course, I'm, I'd hope so. Yeah, compatible. I mean. <laughs> You have compatible parts of them each other. I really, I really hope so, dude. I really, I really do. Are you some kind of homophobe, Gary? Uh, no, sir, I'm not. I, I suspect you hate faggots. No, he's a hobophobe. He hates homeless people. That's Speaking true. of not not faggots, real quick, <laughs> uh, but uh, gay people. Uh, our friend Jeff D is opening for Sinbad next month. At, if if anyone's in Louisiana, he's opening it. I need to I need to find tickets because I want to go. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cool, man. I, I was when I saw that he was doing that, I was like, "That's you know, pretty awesome." That's pretty awesome. Sinbad has shows more. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised too. I, people were like, "Sinbad's still alive." I'm like, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, he, he <laughs> he's is. still doing shows. I wanna I wanna go to that show and then just like not heckle Sinbad, but just yell out, 
like names of his movies like necessary roughness <laughs> first kid wow he was in first kid wow you actually know his movies <laughs> uh, that's actually first kid wasn't too bad it was about this guy who i think gets no he didn't get kicked off the president's detail he's, he's a secret service guy and he wants to be on the president's detail and they're like no, you got to work your way up to there. So they put him in charge. It's it's actually like in some ways similar to the toy. Oh, I see. He's got to take care of the kid. Yeah, and it's he, not as good assholes. as the toy, but it has a lot of those elements like the kid's bratty and shit like that. And, cool. and he becomes his friend and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, but anyway, so you were talking about Christy Mack. Yeah, so um, the story behind Christy Mack was she got the living shit kicked out of her. Because and. She- guy that changed his name legally to war machine yeah his yeah. name was war machine he had a grenade tattooed on his hand uh so ladies remember if you're dating someone and he decides to change his name to like fuck you and ass to your dead that's a bad sign mr fister yeah right right mr fister or you know some shit like that don't date him anymore not a good idea can you get your name legally changed to fuck you in the ass till you're dead? <laughs> you probably could. That guy, states, maybe. that guy got his name, well, what was his name, Ron Artest, got his name changed to, um, oh, Man God. Man of World Peace. Man of World Peace, yeah. Oh. So you probably get your name changed to pretty much anything you fucking want. Um, but, yeah, so he's finally, the dude who beat her, raped her, and almost killed the guy that was with her in the house... Uh, and almost killed her as well, um, is finally getting sentenced. And he pled not guilty to attempted murder. Yeah. What a fucking moron. I mean, I don't think he's a moron. I don't think he's he's crazy. Oh, yeah, he's del- he's very, very, very crazy. Very I crazy. It, I, got, like, I had a bunch of fucking feminists pissed at me because they were talking about that shit, and I just pointed out, like, gee... Who would have thought that dating a guy who legally changed his name to War Machine would <laughs> would end badly? And so they started like they got pissed and they were like, "Fucking like yeah, yeah, yeah." I guess it's her fault, huh? Victim blaming. I was like, I didn't say she deserved it, but yeah, uh, I gotta say, like, y- it seems like common sense that uh, anybody crazy enough to change their name legally to War Machine. <laughs> is a fucking lunatic and that you should not date that person (laughs) and and in all likelihood before he changed his name to war machine he was probably a lunatic like it's not like all of a sudden people turn crazy right like this person was probably a lunatic from day one and she still dated him now again doesn't mean she deserves it like what happened to her was horrible but like this whole feminist idea of like victim blaming, like there's so many women like put themselves in harm's way because they don't use fucking common sense. Yeah, you probably more know more about this than I do, Adam. Um, was he a good fighter in MMA? I don't think he was actually a UFC fighter. I oh, think right. he was an MMA fighter, but I don't know. If no, he, I'm sorry. Actually, I think you're right. I think he was a UFC fighter, but I think he he failed early on or something like that. Yeah, he um he did the the for, what is it the the tough enough thing that they did you know the UFC um challenge thing the UFC oh, right, the like the amateur thing to yeah. the UFC contract. Mm-hmm. I just know he wasn't in the UFC when it happened. Like, no, he, he was out by then. Uh, he he actually lost his last fight, which was at May. I forget what it was. It was like he, for Bellator, I think was uh, where, where he was at at the time. Because yeah, he, he he did flunk out of fucking UFC. What are you talking about? He didn't lose his last fight. He beat the shit out of her. <laughs> <laughs> I meant, you know, the one, the actual fight fight, like his his payday. What do you think he's gonna get beat up in jail? I hope so. I don't know. I, I honestly, people like that just need to be like I'm. I'm a big death penalty guy. If we know for a fact he did it, if it's not hearsay, fucking like I don't believe in an afterlife. Just get rid of these people. He's a fucking animal. Yeah, I think he's a fucking beast, man. He needs to die. Put him down. To, put him to sleep. He's not a beast. He's a machine. <laughs> War machine. So is the Terminator. Dun, 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 dun. Is that you think he? That's what he thought when he walked in. I don't think people like that have a lot of thoughts. I think that's all rage and instinct. I think that's, you know, like we're like I, as I always say, we're we're animals, you know. And actually, I have a story about that that I was going to wait till later, but like we'll, we'll probably go into right after this since it just since we're on this just disturbing track, but. But no, I don't think I don't think he, people have thoughts like that. I think I think I think it's just as as 
quick as this fucking whore is cheating on me and I'm going to fucking kill her. I, I think it's I think it's that simple. I don't think anything else. In so it was like the OJ thing. Uh, I think OJ was premeditated. All right. Like, like, cause he he planned shit. Like, and he he had clarity of thought after this dude just beat the the living fuck out of her for what wasn't wasn't she trapped with him for a few hours or a day? Or oh something? yeah, yeah. Like he he beat them and raped them and did all kind of fucked up wait, things. Wait, raped them or raped her? Raped her. But I don't, I think he was like doing fucked up things to the dude too. Right. I know he tortured him, but we we never found out the guy's name. Um, I had it uh, earlier, but I don't have it anymore. So. It doesn't matter. I mean, is this somebody anybody would know, or is this like? No, nah, no, nah, it was just some dude that that was uh, right. putting it to her. And I'll give it. Uh, I'll give. I give her credit. She actually looks very good. Like I don't know if you've seen her since, but you know, whatever, like whatever sur- plastic surgery and all they gave her looks pretty real. You know, so. Oh, she got beat up that bad. Oh yeah. Damn. He 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 fucking. I, I mean. She had to get her whole face reconstructed. Ooh. Yeah, like I think I think he like destroyed her jaw and shit. So did that stop her porn career, or did she continue doing porn? No, she's still doing porn, but nah, it's a horrifying thing. It's um, sad. Now, what do you want to get into, Adam? Well, uh, this is gonna be. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not gonna make it a common sense with Buck Lightning, but it's that sort of thing. Okay. It's, All uh, right. It's sort of a line of thinking that I had. So I heard an absolutely fucking horrifying story today. Uh, set in the, the you know beautiful, uh, decent, loving town of Chicago, Illinois. All right, Shot I think down. I know exactly which story you're talking about. So, 15 year old girl mm-hmm. was gang raped by a bunch of boys. Facebook Live. Yeah, they 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 live streamed it on Facebook. Now, the interesting. Uh, well, let me rephrase that. Uh, the, the to make the story even crazier, um, people were watching the stream, and nobody called the police. Nobody did anything. They just watched this girl get raped. Now, presumably, you know, they f- streamed this on Facebook. This pr- presumably went out to other fucking piece of shit friends of theirs. Um, and um, the only reason the the police know is because the poor mother of the girl had to screenshot. The gang rape, I guess, I don't know if it was on her phone or what, or a tablet, but she went and found the police superintendent of, of Chicago as he was, like, leaving a press conference and, like, chased him down and showed him the pictures of her daughter getting gang raped. Um, And, like, so I had a couple of thoughts. So, first of all, try them as adults and fry them. I don't care if they're teenagers. I, it, I never read in the story if they were teenagers, but I assume they were. And I don't give a fuck if they're 14 years old. Fucking for I am. That's. I you, agree. You, you gang raped a girl uh, for your own amusement and shit the world. Fuck you. Uh, we don't we don't need you. Uh, and I don't care if, you know, like, oh, my, my, he was, my boy was just going along with it. He was, you know, he was like, he made a mistake. Fry him. Don't give a fuck. Um, my other thought was like, I was thinking about we've had more and more people lately doing this sort of thing where they do something horrifying and live stream. I don't know if y'all remember, but uh, a couple of months ago, there was a story. Uh, it might not even be a couple of months ago. It might only be like a month ago. Uh, some, some uh, black folks like picked up handicapped boy. Yeah. Autistic kid in Carpentersville, Illinois. They took him to Chicago. Uh, well, oh, you got a better memory than me, but they, they picked him up and they tort. They, they didn't just torture him. I, th- I think they said he was a Trump supporter or something yeah, like that. He said he yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was. And he, um, they made him drink toilet water and they just tortured him, cut his hair. They did all kind of fucked up things, these poor kids, or something like that. But they, um, but yeah, they tortured him and they did it live on on live. They live streamed that too. And so I was thinking about that, like, like the idea that not not just that people do horrifying things because that the sad reality is that happens all the time. Like, when, there are women that are currently being gang raped as we speak, unfortunately. Um, but the instinct to not just like do it, but also to show the world. And so I was thinking, well, there's only really a couple of reasons why you would do that. And part of me was like, well, you know, maybe they see terrorists do it and they're like, oh, that looks cool. You know, that looks badass. You know, I mean, these were fucking horrifying evil people, so it's possible. But I think it's actually more likely that what's happening is um, we've 
like as a society, like when we okay, when we were kids, being famous was something that like everybody wanted. But back then you wanted to be famous for doing something. Right. You know? Like because our heroes that's are the famous people, they all did something, you know, it whether you, positive. Exactly. What you whether you idolized Einstein or an actor or a musician or something, like some they did something. Now you have an entire generation that sees not just like reality TV stars, but even people like from memes and shit, like people are literally famous for doing nothing. And, you know, a few weeks ago I was saying on here, like, you know, I'd, I'd almost rather the Kardashians were still the center of attention as opposed to having to hear about Trump every five seconds. Right. And like, but I'm kind of like after this, like I was kind of thinking like, no, like as much as I hate hearing constantly hearing Trump's name over and over again, like at least it's actually about something, you know, right or wrong. Whereas with things like the Kardashians, like they're just I hate to like harp on them, but it's a perfect example of it. And I'll, I'll use in particular uh, Caitlyn Jenner versus Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner in the 1980s was like legendary. We use box hero. He was Superman. Yeah, he was he was an Olympic athlete. Oh, like how many gold medals did he have? Uh, I don't remember. I think he only won one, but the only thing he he was like Mr. Athlete because he won the gold medal in the decathlon. Right. And that is a very hard event to do because it's ten events and you need to Yeah. Be proficient at all ten events and we okay. hardly even have an American gold medalist in decathlon. Yeah. He was he was a giant star because he was this huge Olympic athlete, you know, I like, and I knew Bruce Jenner's name, but I didn't really know what he did, you know, and Caitlyn Jenner, on the other hand, is literally just famous for being famous. Like he got, he, she got part of a surgery. And so there's this weird distinction between Bruce Jenner, who was the most famous person in the world. And we literally took away his fame and didn't give it back until he was just the weird androgynous stepdad on the Kardashian show. Right. Oh, no, he's just famous for nothing, for being famous. Or she, whatever, you know. He's um, a he. And it's it's well, whatever. I, I don't care. I don't I don't care how you want to live your life. Stay the fuck out of the bathroom, but you know, yeah. like <laughs> you want. I, I don't give a fuck if you if you want to go cut your dick off, that's fucking horrifying, but go do it. I don't he didn't he didn't though. But um Anyway, but that's but that's my point is like I'm just like I, I think like we have like because there's this thing called the law of unintended consequence, unintended consequences, which basically says that for every action that you have, there's a specific consequence that, you know, is going to happen. And then there's thousands of ones that you don't realize going to happen. It's basic chaos theory. And I think, you know, the way we live our lives and like all these people who are famous being nothing, I think I think one of the unintended consequences is now there is a cachet of fame that d is not reliant upon actual production and action. It's just, you know, like we just need to be famous for being famous. So, Hey, let's gang rape this chick and fucking post it on the internet and we'll be fucking stars. I don't know. That's just something that, that I was thinking about today. You probably don't even realize that you, know. Oh, they're fucking animals. I don't, I don't, I don't think they have much, thought to to the their actions i think it's as simple as that like hey let's fuck this chick and let's just show everybody but well you know i, I really do think it's this it's also also to blame is people like it's kind of a weird situation but like american idol um and these um <clears throat> reality well they actually do shit well no this is what i'm saying is this like this this get famous quick kind of thing Everything is the gratification. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like everything's instant gratification with these these people, these shows. So that's the reason. That, uh, I think that's another reason that they do this kind of shit. Not because they're not just because they're sick fucking pieces of garbage, but because they want that instant gratification. They want that same um, attention that the um, you know nine eleven bombers got, or, you know, and all that stuff. They want to be famous. And they know how to do it by just streaming themselves doing stupid shit on the, you know, on the internet. Trying to be like jackass or something. Uh, it's worse than jackass, oh, yeah. dude. Way, not, I mean, I'm not saying that. I would never, I would never classify these guys as you know people who are in jackass because the guys in jackass, 
Well, what I mean is, they did stunts and stuff like that. These I mean, people are fucking disgusting. No, I mean is like that's the way you do a lot of people. Jackass got fans from the internet. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I know that. I don't. Uh, I don't know about that. I, I feel like if you gave me two choices, you can either gang rape this chick or drink donkey semen. I'd feel bad for the chick, but I don't know, man. I I, I think um... you drink donkey semen. Um, probably. You know you know why? Because you're fucking gay. No, no, it's not because, <laughs> because well, we I'm found gay. a person to fuck Mark right here. Yeah, you're you're right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that was that was that was good. It's bad that they did that shit though, man. I mean, I don't, I didn't hear that story at all. Like that's the first time I've heard of it. I'm sure it's gonna be one of those things that you're only gonna see on certain types of media. And the girl was actually uh, 15, they said, too, not 14. A 15 year old? Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't make it any better. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. (laughs) But, yeah, I I don't don't imagine you're going to hear too much about it. I mean, honestly, think about it. Like, how much did you really hear about the the handicap handicap kid that got tortured? I actually heard a lot about that. I have, I did too. The only reason why I know, like, a lot of facts from that, because I actually been to the city where the handicap kid's from. Oh, really? Yeah, Mm because I knew some people in Carpentersville. So I visited them on my downtime last year, flew up there. And I actually talked to one of the people I know from Carpentersville. They like they knew exactly you know where this kid grew up at. You know, right, right. Messed up. That's fucking crazy, man. Um, uh, you know, we're gonna pan out of this rape and let's go into death. How's that sound? What you want to talk about the terrorist attack? Uh, there was a terrorist attack. Yeah, in England. I didn't oh, hear. Yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah, I heard that because uh, my boss actually was joking around and said, "What is Mart up to now?" And he started reading this stuff about blowing up stuff. I'm like, "Oh great, I'll have to ask him." No, I, di- I actually didn't. Um, I wasn't going to talk about that. I was going to talk about a few like uh, celebrity deaths, and then we can go into that if you like. No, I don't really want to talk about it. Go on. Um. Well, I don't know. I don't remember his name, but they've been posting about it a few times. Uh, you would be more apt to know the guy's name. The guy who uh, did, uh, what was it the heavy metal cartoon? Oh, you talking about the movie? Um, Adam. The heavy metal cartoon? Uh, talking about the heavy metal movie cartoon, right? Yeah, I'm trying to remember the guy's name. Um, uh, I've seen the movie. I don't remember the guy's name. I mean, I assume it's one of the he- founders of Heavy Metal Magazine. Well, it was one of the artists that just passed away. Oh, I can't remember his name. Oh, wait, you talking about Bernie Wrightson? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like one of the guys who created. No, 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 no. I was just talking about him, and you know, I know that he passed away recently. Yeah, he's a he's a legendary horror artist. Right, right. I couldn't remember his name to save my life, but uh, I I love his work. You know, I've seen plenty of his things all over the place. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, he passed away. Um, I think he had cancer and. Uh, he was pretty old, though. Oh, he was? Oh, okay. Um, also, who passed away? Um, the gentleman who used to do the art for uh, Garbage Pail Kids. I hope you don't expect me to know his name. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I wasn't I wasn't saying you know, to try to get his name or anything. I was just saying, you know, that the, the guy who, who did fucking Garbage Pail Kids passed away. Um, a, I don't know all about him I, i'm trying to get to the link right now but Born last year his name is jay lynch um but uh he passed yeah he passed away i think he, i don't know exactly how or any of that stuff but we'll never get to see those wacky old cartoons on those cards anymore well, when was the last time they got released what gar show kids mm-hmm. um probably last month oh really i didn't know you were still making them oh yeah they they, they restarted the line um I want to say about eight years ago, but and, had, and they've been constantly putting had, stuff out. They had a big hiatus. Didn't they? Oh, they had a huge hiatus between from like uh, I want to say they were on series like fifteen, and then they stopped. I want to say that I know they were real big when I was in. I want to say last year elementary and when I was in middle school. So I want to say in the mid '80s, early mid '80s. Yeah, yeah, it was it was, it was the early '80s that they they stopped, but then they came back with a vengeance. But yeah, he passed away recently. Uh, his name was Jay, like I said, his name was Jay Lynch. Uh, you can probably get some of his work online. Uh, so you think the garbage pail kids like car, like the 
original cars going to double in value, triple in value? Probably not. I mean, some of them have value to them, like the first series. But, I mean, those things are so mass produced. You know, I don't know. Because, like, the reason the first series is worth so much is because no one knew about it. Yeah. They didn't really hit until the second series came out, and then that was when it was completely, you know, bonkers. So it was almost like the uh, Beanie Babies kind of thing where yeah. people with Beanie Babies, oh, this thing's worth like $10,000 when they have. It, yeah, and then it's like $8 billion of, $8 billion them. of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like that. Um, and the la- the last celebrity death that I want to bring up is uh, Mr. Chuck Barris. Not my cousin, Chuck Barris, but Chuck Barris, I-S, is the last name. He was the gentleman who... Ran and did the Gong Show. He actually start made made the Gong Show as well as other uh, other shows. ones too. Yeah, he did. He uh, actually was a CIA. He was sniper. not. He was not a CIA <laughs> agent. Uh, he went off the deep end. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, he went off the complete deep end, and um, and his daughter. I think he went off the complete deep end right before his daughter passed away. Yeah, his and daughter then passed away. Of, of, and no one know. No one knows if it's the truth or not. But it really um, seems like it's not because it's it's so fucking far fetched that he thinks he's a CIA agent. Well, in the movie he did. What movie? I, I, oh, you mean Conf- Confessions of a Dangerous Mind? Yeah, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. He admitted he said he was a killer. Well, that was a movie, Gary. Well, he he said he, it was, he said that was a movie. Say it was like on <laughs> based on his life. He wasn't in that movie though, Gary. I know he wasn't. The, okay. So, yeah, I'm looking at the story right now. Uh, I can't. My phone just died, so I was gonna pull it up. But uh, okay, because I was just curious, like if if there was a gong that rang just before he died. No, there no. wasn't. It, in fact, you know, I had the story in my phone as "Ring the Gong One Last Time." <laughs> I wonder if the what was his name, the mask comedian or the unknown, the unknown com- comic, the one who wore the fucking like garbage bag on his head. It was a gar- it was a, it was a, a, a um. Uh, What's a favorite bag? Uh, no, it was yeah, it was not garbage bag, but uh, uh, um, grocery bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wore it with like his eyes drawn on, no, cut out on it. Yeah, yep. he was fucking terrible. Yeah, he was on that show. He was on the show, make me laugh too, all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The unknown comic. Yep. If the, anybody knows the identity to the unknown comic, please let us know because I'm curious. But uh, yeah. Um, if you ever get a chance, uh, go watch uh, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. It's a really interesting movie. Well, you don't even need to do that. You just watch any of the Gong Show episodes that you can find on YouTube, especially the later ones when Chuck Barris started losing his mind. Yeah, a little. started getting a little crazy. Started getting a little crazy. I mean, you can see how lucid of a yeah. mind. I mean, had. the man, the man was eighty-seven when he died. So, and he just, I think he passed away uh, Monday. Um. Uh, but in that movie, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, um, uh, who the fuck plays Chuck Barris? Uh, it's one of the guys from um, Doogie Hauser. No, it's from Galaxy Quest, man. Uh, Tim Allen. No, uh, fuck. He plays the guy who is like the the dude Sam, who, I, huh? Sam Rockwell. Yes, that's who he plays. Yes. Sam Rockwell played Chuck Barris in Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. Yes, sir. Huh. He sure did. That was actually the first movie I ever saw him in. Was was the Confessions of a Dangerous Mind? I really like that guy. First movie I ever saw him in was uh, uh, Charlie's Angels Two. Nice. Wait, it was the no, it was the first one he was in. Like you know, it, it, I, that's weird though. Uh, to bring that up because I've never seen any of those movies, the Charlie Angels movies. Yeah, I mean they're they're kind of worth watching. Like they're not they're not great, but Cameron Diaz like wears like fucking dances in her underwear and shit. And, you know. Yeah, that's, so it's worth the peep for a little bit, you know. Yeah, hey, I mean you could rub one out to it. I got gotcha. you. I understand. I understand. They're not they're not great movies. They're just you know, it's a lot of a lot of less annoying girl power kind of shit. Cool. You know, like. uh Actually, this is something that that uh, we could talk about for a second. Uh, All right. Did, did y'all see the new the trailer for the new Charlize Theron movie that's coming out, where she plays uh, uh, an, uh, like a CIA assassin or something like that? I'm trying to think if I saw that. Do you uh, remember the name of it? Uh, no, I could Google it. 
Um, yeah, I don't remember. I I want to say I saw the preview to that, but I don't recall. Well, it's it's not really a trailer. It's like a it's like a clip. Right. Let me hit Google here for a second. Sure, sure, sure. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I I saw a few things that are new that are coming out, but I I don't remember if I saw that one or not. Um. I'm not really sure. I mean, oh, so Charlize Theron. Let's see. Uh, Sam Rockwell. No, let's see. IMDb. Chuck Berry. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's another death of fucked up. Chuck Berry died too. Yeah, Chuck Berry did die. Like out of all, out of all the the people that we just named that are like, uh, not no offense to them, but like be being be C list celebrities, I could have said Chuck Berry. You know. Argu- yeah. Arguably the the godfather of rock and roll, not Elvis. There's a there's a guy I follow uh, follow online um, named Stephen Miller. Uh-huh. That when Chuck Berry died, he wanted to fuck with people, so he wrote uh, <laughs> he wrote we wouldn't we wouldn't know Chuck Berry uh, without Back to the Future. Rest in peace. Like all these people got. <laughs> <laughs> it was clearly him fucking with them, but no, I, I can't but find the I can't find the the Tommy movie. Blonde. There, there, there is no, there's no, um, there's no flaw in that, dude. Atomic Blonde, Blonde. Yes, yeah, that's it. Gary's yeah, right. So the, there's a clip online of her. Basically, she goes into a building and has to fight like eight guys, and uh, super realistic. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Have you ever, if, have y'all both seen Daredevil season one? Uh, I have. Yeah. Okay, you remember the infamous, like, third episode scene where he has to fight, like, nine nine guys? I do know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, you, when you watch the scene in Atomic Blonde that they show, it's very clear that whoever fucking either came up with that script or choreographed that, like, basically everybody involved was watching Daredevil like the day before. <laughs> you can kind of see like the same, like she has to take breaths, you know, like that. And like she, you know, when they hit her, like she feels and all that. But uh, my point is like, so I was watching it. And I was like, and it looks pretty good. I'm not saying I won't see it. I probably would. But like, so, but when I watched it shit like that, I always think like, well, I don't Hollywood ever make movies where they have like, like a female CI assassin, like doing shit that a woman could actually do. Like, why couldn't she just be like a fucking like sniper or some shit like that? But uh, like, I thought you were gonna say like the dishes or the laundry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. pregnant. Have you met? Have you met modern women? <laughs> they can't do that shit either. Well, that's true. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> it's been pointed out more and more that like it used to be the province of cooking used to be the province of women, but yeah. more and more women can't cook, and more and more men do. Because wow. because men have figured out women can't cook now, so men have to cook or they're going to die. Well, but anyway, but like putting aside like uh, what's her name that used to be in the UFC that was in Fast and the Furious. Uh, uh, um, Gina one, Carano. Fucking yeah, Gina Carano. Yeah, you know uh, who I love. You know who was also in uh, Daredevil. I'm not Daredevil. Um, Deadpool. Daredevil. Deadpool. Yeah. Um, I mean, even, but even her, like this idea that like these women can like beat up 50 guys, like, you know, look, when I'm watching Avengers and Black Widow does it, you kind of just go, all right. I mean, there's a fucking thunder God. What am I going to say? But when you have these like spy movies and shit, that's supposed to be taken kind of seriously. It's like, no, I mean, honestly, you don't see Jason Bourne kicking like 10 guys asses in the movies. It's usually like one or two. Right. I, I mean, but like, look. Let's be honest. Shirley, Shirley's the wrong couldn't beat me up. Much less. Maybe like, up and down. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You would, you would, you would, you would, for, yeah, wait, hold on. Shirley's oh. there could beat me up any damn day of the week. Yeah, you would, you wouldn't, uh, take a little of that? I might fuck her face. I don't know. No, all, right. all right. Well, you know, you got standards, man. I understand. I do. Well, man, I'm, now, yeah, if she was in Babylon 5, it would be a lot different. Yeah, if she was in Babylon 5, it'd be over with. <laughs> She was in Babylon Five. I just jizzed before I even got inside. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Jason Carter jarped me off. Anyway, 
What if we ever heard this? It'd be so incredible. Just kidding, bro. I was just kidding. No, he's not, dude. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. You should listen to two episodes before this. I think uh I think he'd be more horrified if I was like, Yeah, I'm a Trump supporter. Uh, yeah, probably so. <laughs> yeah. But um no, nah, it's just like, but yeah, I was just watching that. Thing. And yeah, and y'all should watch it. Like the Atomic Blonde, it's not like I said, it's not a trailer. It's a, it's like a little clip to you know. And it's, I mean, it's a good fight scene, you know. And it looks like a decent little movie. I mean, I don't know what it's about, but right. But yeah, like they, they need to like like cut this bullshit, like this Ronda Rousey horse shit. It's like, yeah, a woman's just as good as a man. They, oh. Did y'all see that story about the? I think it's a, the Australian weightlifting champion, like the the transgender woman who won the the weightlifting championships in Australia. Really? No, I did not. That's a big fat dude. Is it really? Put that yeah. back. And and like I you know like I'm reading the story and it's talking about like the woman in New Zealand who was the champ that that you know he she beat out. And I was like, oh, that chick's got to be pissed. Well, yeah. They're so fucking pissed when they lose to this dude. I, I I need to I need to see this picture over this woman. We actually thing. have a transgendered girl that's actually taking testo- testosterone, trying to transgender away to men in Texas, actually kicking ass and wrestling high school wrestling because Jesus. she can't wrestle as a guy, which she wants to do. She need to wrestle as a woman because that's what she's born as. So she kicking everybody ass in her weight class. Main reason why she taking testosterone. Gain more muscle. Mm. Hmm. Sorry, too. I, I, I mean, not really. I, 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 number one, like, you know, I was thinking about this today. I have nothing against like somebody wanting to live their life as however they want. My problem is always with like the medical end of it, where they're like, "Oh, we got to give this kid hormones because like she's kind of confused and she thinks she's she's a boy." So we're gonna give her testosterone to to make her a boy. Well. Giving her testosterone doesn't make her an old boy, and also like there's some studies that say they think like that could possibly cause cancer. And wow. the people, you know, like putting testosterone in a woman, putting estrogen in a man. Well, I mean, it's got to really throw your body for a fucking like chaotic loop. I mean, well, you're not supposed to have that in you, you know. Especially being that young of age too, when your body's still developing. Right, right. You're still your body's still developing. You're still trying to figure out, you know. What to use your vagina and dick for? Well, the way the reason why I read read about the story about the wrestling thing, because I mean I wrestled all through high school, so uh, that interested me. But she was saying that the mother of the girl saying, you know, she was always like a tomboy, right? And then she saw a movie on TV. I can't remember which movie it was. Oh, it was not movie, but uh, um, like a sixty minute program. Uh huh. And they had a transgender person like. And he felt like, you know, a woman, like, I felt like a guy all through my life. And then they said the girl was like eight, nine years old. Like, that's how I feel, mommy. And that's the way, that's the reason why they started putting on testosterone or something. Weird, like man. I, I, I'll i put it this way, guys. If my son sees something like that on TV and says, hey, daddy, I feel like this. I'm I want to wear a dress. I'm going to punch him in his face. No. <laughs> There's no way in hell my eight-year-old son if he comes up to me and says that, would I give him, you know, estrogen shots? There's no way. Not, not when he's a certain age. Well, I think she was like that old when they found out, but they didn't stop getting her t- testosterone once they till she was like 14, 15. My, my point is like these, these kids, like some of them like aren't even really transgendered. They just, they want to feel fucking special. That's it. Like, like everybody wants to feel fucking special and they want to be unique. And you have like this, like everything in the world is telling them you are unique. You are special. You're, you're a little snowflake and, and you're a princess and all this shit. And they, and, and they get all this shit in their head, you know, and, and that's, that's all they want. Like the, the, and it's the same thing whenever you see people on these college campuses that are like shouting people down and like chanting they just want to be part of something they want to be you know interesting and all that's that's all it is they don't fucking like they don't fucking know like and i'm not saying that transgender like there aren't people that exist that do feel like they were born in the wrong body you know i mean uh, that that is fucking lunacy but you know but go live your life all right if it makes you happier you're like i don't think you should get surgery right I, i agree i don't think you should get chemicals but but fuck, like I, I know people that put on. I mean, shit. We were talking about Jeff D earlier. His husband, yeah, is, is a I was a drag queen. Yeah, he's a drag queen. But 
you know, I mean, all right, man, like more power to you. Why not? Like, and be successful too. Awesome. Go have at it, Paul. Yeah, that's know? cool by me. But uh, but and 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 it really wouldn't bother me as much if it wasn't fucking kids. Like, I, I think it should be fucking. If, if they're gonna make if this shit's legal, it shouldn't be legal until you're like fucking twenty five. Right. So, so till you actually know what the fuck you're doing. Right. If you, I mean, if you're fucking 18 years old, you gotta wait till you're 18 to vote. You gotta wait till you're 16 to drive. You gotta wait till you're 21 to to fucking drink. You gotta wait till you're 25 to cut your dick off. <laughs> you no. Know? I do agree with you right there, Adam. But like, it's just people want to fit in. And they like, they want to feel special. Or if they see someone else doing it, like, oh, let me join this group right over here. I couldn't join this other group over here. Because they wouldn't accept me, but these people over here, they wouldn't accept me. And so let it's, me go ahead and join this group. It seems like it's the big trend thing now. And and the sad thing about it is is once you go that way, you really can't go back the other way. Well, once you cut it off. Well, that's what I'm saying. That That's why um, I think that's why uh, Caitlyn Jenner has not done that yet. Yeah, you know, um, I mean, she, she's a lunatic, but I, it, I don't know. It's it's just scary to me. And I... And I I just th- think about like a hundred years from now, people are going to be reading about this era in history, and they're they're going to be like, "What the fuck was wrong with them?" It's, they're going to look at us the same way we look at people that believe that the Earth is flat. Right, exactly. It'll be the exact same fucking thing, and like, you can sit there and be like, "Oh, you got people that believe that that a guy walked on water and maybe." Wait, 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 wait. The Earth's not flat. What? The Earth's not flat. <laughs> This is the first I, I've ever heard. Ain't no mind to me, Gary. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> cool. I, I, I believe the Earth's flat. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I, I, don't know. I, I really think like history is going to look very poorly on this time in history. Um, you're probably correct on a lot of that stuff, man. And like like you said, and I'm the same way as you. Is is look, guys, live your life to what you want to do. It's it's okay. Do what you got to do. But just remember you cut your dick off or you do certain things to yourself you can't really go back um i'm realize that when it's too late like there's there's actually a high suicide rate like a depression yeah. suicide rate and i mean uh, they have like, here's the thing a lot of the justification for it as to why we need to allow this to happen from people that that it doesn't involve is that the the depression and suicide rate for transgender people is massive but the problem is those rates don't improve once you once you get the surgery, bipolar. which suggests that the them feeling like the 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 transgender part isn't the problem. The problem is that they feel confused, and right. conflicted about themselves. Yeah, they still don't feel right, even if they go even after the transgender surgery. Well, it's almost like what Adam said earlier about the chaos theory. You know, all actions have like a reaction. You know, correct, correct. It's true, and, and you're probably right. That's probably why most of those kids are you know the higher uh, suicide rate is because. They're so confused, and they won't you know, buy into something that's that anybody trying to sell them. Yeah, they want to. They want to fit in somewhere. You know, it's just a fucking sad situation, man. Yeah, which is why right. me yeah. and Mark's not gonna do anything because I'm afraid me, 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 either me or Mark gonna commit suicide after. I don't think so. I think you both, both really strong individuals, <laughs> and. Whichever one's the taker or the giver will be a gentle lover, and the other one will just have to grin and bear it. Gary, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm willing to take that risk. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be... Just think of the ratings, man. Come on. Come on. You can go out with a bang. Will you at least uh, give me a proper burial? You got it, brother. Right. You know I would. All right. Right outside the cracker barrel. <laughs> <laughs> We'll, we'll sprinkle your ashes all the way around the, every Cracker Barrel you've ever been to, man. That's a lot of Cracker Barrel. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I finished watching Iron Fist. Did you? Um, I haven't started watching Iron Fist yet, but I did start watching Luke Cage. And uh, I know you watched the whole thing. And I want to give you my opinion so far on that. And then you can go into your Iron, Iron Fist if you don't mind. Yeah. Is that yeah. cool? All right. All right. Look. This is what I think of Luke Cage, and, as, and I, I mentioned this a little bit the last show that me and Gary did together, um, which was the last episode. Uh, I, I dig this show. I really do. Uh, but the only problem I have with it is 
it's to me it sounds like um this of course everybody knows that that luke cage is supposed to be like a shaft type character and uh, yeah, i mean that's that's how it that's the feel i get uh in the show yeah i guess you could say that you know what i'm saying and it just does not fit you put in a 1970s character in this time period and the actor is i'm sorry to say this but he's not that good it just throws me off i think, I, I think I, the only person who, who doesn't think mike tolter does a good job now i did i did have a conversation with uh, hannibal the beat animal about him though uh I th- did we talk about this on the yeah show? I, I was gonna say that i think this is the point where it's the whole like he just tries to be black and he's not well he only really does that in a few episodes though like once the once the plot really gets going he's just <laughs> he's just himself and that's 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 when it gets good like i mean i don't get me wrong i actually thought though i thought everything but the last episode was good the okay. last episode i was like eh, this kind of sucks well i'm only on like episode four so i mean i haven't really got deep into this show yet but i'm just saying from what i've watched so far it's kind of it, it, it's kind of wonky right now with it i mean i dig some of the stuff that some of the characters are cool and i'm not i don't know a whole lot about the character luke cage so i'm kind of learning as the show goes i mean there's really not a lot to know i mean gary gary was a big fan of the comic book <laughs> so that's i he knows more about the character than i do and i'm sure you do too because you know you, you yeah you I, know, I know i know a lot about luke cage right so me personally i, I didn't know jack shit about him i knew uh he was, to, I, mean, I knew he was a black dude that wore a yellow shirt a metal headband. Yeah, and had a metal headband. No, he's just uh he's got unbreakable skin and he's super strong. That's that's the basics. So he's like Superman, but I can't fly. Or uh, super uh, fast. Yeah, yeah, no, it's super I mean you don't have to do anything like that either, but yeah, basically. You know, I'm just using it as a basis, you know. Yeah, yeah. I Gar- mean he's probably not dying. quite as uh yeah, I can hear that. And he's probably not quite as <laughs> Uh, like Superman level and vulnerable or anything like that, but right. you don't have heat vision or super breath, right? But yeah, yeah, basically, you know, he's not white. He's not. I, I'm beg to differ on that. <laughs> have you you watched the show yet? Okay, his skin color is not white. All right, yeah, all right, all right, all right. So I reboot the show and replace him. They need to because they've been rebooting the shows, <laughs> all kind of other shit. So might as well. I can't wait until uh, my my show debuts. Luke Cage starring Neil Patrick Harris. Nice, that would be fucking awesome. incredible. Or or uh, what's his name who played Luke from the Duke Boys? Tom Wopat. Yes, that's him. I like that. That would be great. That'd be great. It'd be a little old, but it'd be still funny. Pat would play the Charles Dutton character. Yes. So, so I, I really enjoyed that series. I think I thought it was. Probably only secondary to Daredevil season one. Nice, nice, nice. I've still yet to see Daredevil season two, so. I didn't like that. I mean, I thought it was okay. I, I've, I actually haven't finished it yet. It's 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 decent. the The guy John Bernthal that, that plays nice. the Punisher, he's good, but he's not as good as fucking uh, Thomas Jane. Thomas. I really wish they could have brought Thomas Jane back. Thomas Jane. Thomas Jane was the guy that played the Punisher in the original movie. Oh, okay, yeah, the first the first movie that came out. No, that was uh, Dolph Lundgren. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, what do you think? Old. What do you think about Iron Fist? Yeah, yeah. How do? Because I've seen so many people hating on this show. Uh, they're all fucking retarded. It's it's not the best one. It's 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 a little wonky here and there, but it's still a good series. Like it's, I'd give it like a. A minus, maybe, maybe a B plus. Oh, okay, it's, okay. It's, it's pretty solid, and it it gets better as it goes along. I like the character. the The main problem, there's two main problems with it. The writing's a little weird in certain places. There's certain things that I'm just like, eh, I don't know about that, you know. And then, uh, and the action, I was, the action's good, but I okay. Even though they weren't straight up kung fu scenes, I actually thought the action in Daredevil was better. Okay. Like, I really, they, instead of, the you know, all this fucking stupid-ass argument about, like, Danny Rand should have been Asian, which, by the way, is fucking racist. Like, it's genuinely fucking racist to, to, <laughs> that the fucking uh, kung fu character had to be Asian. 
Um, um, yeah, man. I mean, Luke Cage has to be black. Yeah. Um, so, but like all this fucking stupid argument, like, like the argument should have been instead of having Finn Jones, they should have gotten a dude who who was like super skilled at MMA. Yeah, like, that'd probably been a good idea. Like, um, like a George St. Pierre type or something like that. Because like the like the fight scenes are decent. I was like, thinking Warhammer, but okay. Warhammer the the game. Not Warhammer. War Machine. My bad. That guy. Yeah, well, it'd be hard to film the whole show in person. Yeah, yeah, all right. But uh, yes, it's like the fight scenes. Like even they they get better as they go along and and all that. But like there's still like it just feels like there's a little element of it messing, you know. Um, like some crouching tiger, hidden dragon stuff. Yeah, the the, the, the like. Well, I, I've always said <coughs> I I really wish they would have gotten like a director like Stephen Chow. Yeah. And the uh, the guys who made uh, Raid Redemption. Oh, dude. Dude. Got them to do like a movie. Dude, the whole fucking Raid Redemption. I mean, I, I, will, I will never say that any. I don't think there's any fucking movie that could top the fight scenes in those movies. Uh, no, there isn't. It's, it's None. Fucking possible. But uh, the. the And the funny thing, and by the way, all the fucking the talk of like they need to race swap Danny Rand. So they race swapped two other characters and nobody said shit, including a fucking Asian character. They switched. They swapped him out with a fucking Middle Eastern Brit. <laughs> <laughs> Fletch and I were talking about this the other day. We're like, it's fucking. I mean, he's British, but like, I mean, y'all know the whole thing about like the 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 India like like Middle East Britain exchange thing. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah. So I mean, there's a lot of. There's a lot of like Muslims and, and Indians and in Britain, and they they're British. They 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 grew up in Britain and all that, and they talk British. The dude's got a fucking British accent. He's supposed to be fucking Chinese. Which character is this? <laughs> I don't want to reveal it because it's yeah. Uh, don't don't open uh, it yet because I want I want I, I, I you know, that's funny. You like you know a lot about Iron Fist, but, but so it's, so it's a character from the comic book, right? It's a character from the comic book. Right. Yeah, but um, but like I'm watching him just like. Fuck is this? <laughs> Any goddamn sense at all? You know? It's Come on, fucking- man, you loved it. There. Um. So, uh, and then there's a the one of the main characters, Colleen Wing, and the comic she was fucking white, and they made her Asian. Nobody fucking said like, oh, oh, oh look, you know, they did that. Mm. Did they spell it? Did they spell it with a J? <laughs> Colleen Wing. What? You know, like New in with the J. Talk about in, you talk about like win like N G N G yeah like y- N. Uh, number one win is Vietnamese number two yeah. there's no J in it I don't I look you know what dude check it out and lastly her Cheers. name's Wing that's what I said I said Wing he said Win anyway um <laughs> well how do you spell Wing so yeah now they made her a <laughs> her fucking ninja ass that's terrible terrible what she's a ninja. Oh okay, all right. Anyway, I you know, but but uh, but the series was good. It was you know, I mean, I've got a few issues with it, but it's probably about as good as Daredevil season two, honestly. That's cool. You know, it's it's not the best, but I, I look forward to it. Uh, and the, my my biggest issue is like you know, like they weren't gonna put Iron Iron, Iron Fist in the like the jumpsuit costume or anything like that with a giant collar, and they, they didn't need to, but. Oh. Iron Fist has always had like this yellow bandana mask. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put him in the fucking thing. They didn't. They, I was like, eh. like so just big. put him in the fucking mask. Maybe in Defenders they'll do it. That Look, was- man. So does he even ha- have a costume where he's just out there like Luke Cage? No, I think they tried to like play it off by putting him in a hoodie a lot of times when he fought. So I think that was supposed to be like, oh, look, it's like the because the collars kind of popped. And it's like no, you know. So you're trying to make the hoodie look a gee, like a, like a uh, gee. I think the hoodie's supposed to give you no. It's uh, no. Well, he doesn't wear a gi in the comics either. I know. But I'm just saying. No, he's just saying he's just using it as like a reference. I think the hoodie's supposed to give you the impression of the costume because like the hood's up, so it's like oh well, it's kind of covering his face, but it's not. And then the like the kind of hoodie that it is has a little bit of a collar, and that's sort of popped. So it's like uh, it's kind of like the high collar, but it's not. In fact, the whole time, like he's fighting in the hoodie, I'm just like, 
that seems like a really fucking impractical thing to fight in. Like, because all they have to do, like, is get behind you and grab the back of your fucking hoodie and you're dead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but he knows Kung Fu. That's right. And he has an iron fist. Well, they all knew Kung Fu. Actually, one of my favorite things in there, there's a uh, there's a Jackie Chan homage towards the end of the series. Oh, sweet. I should give it away because it's not it's not really a big deal. But, but I just it was thought, cool. Well, fuck it. Like, I, it's, it really, it's not really a spoiler. There's a character... Have y'all ever seen The Legend of Drunken Master? Uh, yes. The original or the remake? Uh, I've seen remakes uh, the, on original. Like, I know there was a couple of them, but the most recent one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw both of them, but I just want to—I I didn't know which one you were specifying. Well, well, I mean, I don't think it matters. Like, but basically, there's a character there that's clearly a drunken boxing. Master. Awesome, awesome. As like the little gourd that Jackie Chan drinks out of. That's fucking cool. You know, but it's all in English, so. That's cool. But uh and I think there's a bunch of other like little references here and there. Uh there's there's definitely there's a fight scene that well well not definitely, but there's a fight scene toward like one of the last episodes that I think is supposed to be an homage to like a Matrix fight scene. Cool. But um I think, I'm not positive. I'd be curious if they have like a commentary out there. But, but anyway, but but Iron Fist was good. It, well, I'm, well, you know, like I said, it wasn't my favorite, but uh, it was solid, and I look forward to Defenders, and hopefully they can build on that. In Defenders, that's supposed to be the next episode out of everybody, everything, right? The next yeah, season. I think they started filming that. I'm not positive. I know they announced Sigourney Weaver is going to be the bad guy in it. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, but they haven't announced who Sigourney Weaver is playing. Right, right, right. Um, yeah. I, it might be the, the, the shittiest part about this is that the villain oh, – well – Madam Gao from the first season of Daredevil is uh, a big part of this, which was expected. But um, which one? Who is that? The Chinese woman from the first season of Daredevil. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I was trying to. I didn't understand what you said. I thought you said Adam something. I was like, who the fuck is that? No, nah, Madam Gao. But um, uh, but you know, compared to Luke Cage that had cotton mouth, like the villains, right? The villains are cool and they they're effective, but. Cottonmouth really like is the best villain since Wilson Fisk. They even mentioned Fisk in uh, Luke Cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I mean, all that stuff's supposed to be interconnected, so. right? So that's why, uh, um, that's why I'm trying to. To what? Who? It all takes place in New York City, too. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm trying to do. Is what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish Luke Cage, then I'm going to get into do um, Iron Fist, and then I'll probably go back and watch season two of Daredevil. Uh, I'm gonna actually recommend that you watch season two of Daredevil first. It won't oh, okay before won't. before um, Iron Fist. Yeah, okay. um, Daredevil season two takes place right. Actually, no, actually Daredevil season two takes place before Luke Cage, so you actually should have watched it first. Uh, okay, so I'll go back. I'll stop Luke Cage and go finish that then. What yeah, about- I mean it's not. It won't ruin anything because like you you get the gist of it, but um. Like Rosario Dawson becomes a bigger and bigger part of every show. Yeah, I I, I saw that. I was kind of like, okay, I knew she was in the other uh, in Daredevil. Why is she in? The, you know, I was kind of. They've made her the the connective thread, and it's actually really cool. Like, because by the time you get to uh, Iron Fist, like she's going on this journey of a character where she's not just this. Because her character is a kind of obscure character called Night Nurse. Okay. Um, whose essential function, I think it was actually a, like a character from like 1950s or something like that that they revamped. Um, but her essential function is that she runs a clinic that treats superheroes. Oh, nice. You know, because like they get they get beat up and all that and they, they bro- break bones and shit. And, you know, the common sense thing is like they can't they can't just go to a hospital. Like, right. Mask. So they have this you know woman that was saved by one or something like that and started a started a clinic and she's not really a nurse she's actually a doctor like in the in the comics anyway yeah yeah in this like they like it's it's sort of a different character but they but basically it's it's she's meant to be night nurse and um so they they started her off in daredevil and then she was very briefly in jessica jones but you know I didn't and even. I, I didn't even. I couldn't that. even watch an episode of that. Why? Jessica Jones. Yeah. I tried, man. It was boring as fuck. 
Uh, how much did you watch? Like I watched the first episode. That was it. Did you watch the whole first episode, or did you just watch most of it? I watched most of it. All right. Here's the thing about Jessica Jones. 80 to 90% of the first episode is shit. Okay. But when you get to the very end, you're like, oh, okay. And then, like, it gets really good from there. Okay. But the the main problem that I have with it is that it's very clear that they didn't have 13 episodes worth of story. Uh, they only had about nine or ten. So, like, it gets really, really good. But towards the end, you're like, fuck. Like, uh, like this is like they're just treading water now. Yeah, yeah, they basically stretch it for no reason. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they stretch it because they had to make 13 episodes. But, like, my thing is, like, I just went to the network and said, look, we got about 10 episodes here. Give us the money. Like, we'll make amazing episodes. It'll be worth your while, you know. But... Um, but they actually have like David Tennant is he might be the third best villain. Like I still nice. I think Cottonmouth is a better villain than, than Tennant's character, the Purple Man. Mm-hmm. But Tennant is really really good. All right, so I'll go back and watch that too because I just couldn't get into it, man. I was just like, this is fucking poop. I I, I I'm with you. the The first episode of Jessica Jones like was mostly shit, and then. And like, and and I'm a big. By the way, I'm a big fan of that character. I'm a big fan of the comic that it's based on, Alias. Right. So the whole time I'm watching, I'm just like, "You fucking kidding me!" Like I didn't even, and I still don't think Kristen Ritter's a great Jessica Jones. I think she's she's very good at the character they're portraying, but it doesn't really feel like Jessica Jones. But uh, but the but the whole time I was just like, really, like this is what they fucking did. Like they're sitting there touting like all this this whole female like creator shit like like well maybe those fucking female creators need to get a fucking job <laughs> but uh but by the end of the first episode you're like oh fuck oh that's awesome all right okay good good good. that doesn't make up to the fact that the rest of the fucking episode shit but yeah yeah but at least at least i know it picks up and it wasn't like just a fucking boring hunk of shit the whole time no yeah, well this is what i loved about the first episode of luke cage was i was like oh fuck yeah i'm on board with this from day one right you know iron fist was kind of in between i was like oh it was pretty good like I'll keep iron watching. fist was like daredevil uh season two like yeah 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 that was pretty good like i'll keep watching like that's pretty interesting you know like it, well, i wasn't hyped for it but you know but of course i actually finished iron fist probably faster than the other series but mm-hmm. except for daredevil i think i think i finished daredevil civil season one and like one fucking day or something yeah i did i did season one in two days because i was just like this shit is so good <laughs> Yeah, I think it took me three or four days to finish Iron Fist, but it took me like a full week to finish Luke Cage. But anyway, mm. we've been talking about this for a while. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's pretty much we're gonna end the show right here, I guess. Well, I have one question for you. Guys. You have a question, okay? What? Yeah. I just want we just want to bring up real fast. All right, go ahead. All right, well, just a general question. General question. All right. Hi, I'm a big hockey fan. You're a hockey fan. Yeah, Pittsburgh Penguins play Buffalo Sabers. Pittsburgh Penguins guy. Hits a guy in the nuts with the hockey stick. Hits him in the nuts. Okay, later on in the third period, he gets two teeth knocked out because the Buffalo Sabres guy hit him in the face with a hockey stick. So what would you rather have? Would you rather have your nuts get hit by the hockey stick or would you rather have two teeth knocked out? My nuts. What about you, Adam? Yeah, I'd probably go with my nuts. I'll, I'll go with my teeth. Would no, you I, really? I, I could lose a cup of teeth, you know? Not my nuts. <laughs> I don't know you know, doing. man, honestly, I'd rather get hit in the nuts because... Um, the nut pain will go away faster. Yeah, but what about? I mean, I mean, a full fledged oh, hockey stick. I mean, what about if you lose one of your nuts? Well, yeah, but if you were in a fucking cuff, dude, I'm almost forty. Who gives? <laughs> <laughs> I'm more likely to get laid with with all my teeth than with one nut. Yeah, but you can easily get false teeth. You can't get a false nut. Yes, you can. Okay. You know how fucking <laughs> they make noodles? Yeah, noodles. They had to fucking pull teeth out. Yeah, dude, that shit hurts. I mean, getting in the balls hurts too, but you know, I hey, mean, probably wearing a cup, like I'm yeah, sure that fucking bad. I mean, it's gonna hurt. You're gonna get a little, you know, massage in your stomach. You're gonna oh, feel you, pretty you, bad. You, you, you guys wore cups before? Uh, yes, I wore one. You have a guy hit in your cup? Right? No. That shit don't really hurt your testicles. But that shit hurts you growing real hard. Well, yeah, because it digs into your sides. Yeah. Good times. Good times. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Gary. I'll tell you what, which would you rather? 
<laughs> oh, Lord. Here we go. <laughs> I'll hit you in the nuts with a hockey stick or you fuck more. How many hockey sticks we talking about? I mean, oh, uh, one from everybody. Cool, I'll, I'll take that. No cup either. <laughs> Pure steel hockey stick. No, no. no, no, you, no. All right, guys, you hear this, right? So bring your hockey stick to the 500th episode, and whoever's got one, you can swat Gary in the testicles. Send us a comment on Twitter, letting us know if you'd rather see Gary fuck Mart, like <laughs> jackass style. With a with a wrought iron hockey stick, it will make no 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 no. Uh, it's that would be really wood. heavy. It'd be wooden hockey stick. Yeah, wooden wooden hockey stick oh, will oh, hurt I, just I, as I, bad. I'm gonna take five glass. Okay, all right, all right. So yeah, leave the comment on Twitter. Let us know if which one you'd rather, Gary fucking Martin the ass or Mart fucking Gary in the ass, if or Mark, leave a comment. He's fucking stupid. Or Gary. Allowing the entire audience to hit him in the balls with a hockey stick. Oh, you didn't say audience. You said I said everybody. I didn't say. Uh, yeah, I did right, not right. say specifically who. I like a million people. Well, I mean, the people who show up. That's just cruel and unusual punishment. Like I'm gonna leave a comment that says, I'd rather <laughs> "Gary fuck Mart." <laughs> Would you rather Gary fuck Mart or Mart fuck Gary? <laughs> I'm not really partial. <laughs> what well, are you partial? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Yeah, my son's partial too. He thinks that's funny. I'm partial to get hit by get hit in the nuts by the hockey stick. <laughs> so uh, on that note, I expect to see our Twitter feed blowing up with like. Dis- and the 500th episode is going to be really interesting. It will. It's going to be. It's going to be fantastic. Okay. This is a message to Bill Cosby. Bill, vote for the hockey stick. We know, know you. We know you're listening. We know you're listening. We know you blocked the Twitter page. <laughs> Hockey stick, Bill. Hockey stick. I buy all the fucking pudding pops in the world. Yeah, yeah. See, there you go. Um. So, all right. I was your host, Wayne. Is it Uber Gary? I'm hockey stick. <laughs> Remember, ladies and gentlemen, to keep it, keep it, keep it, cups, keep it, cups. Keep yeah. It. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Adieu, adieu, parting with such sweet sounds. Go ahead and run. Run home and cry to mama. Get the fuck out. Okay, then. That's it.